some Jackson County information has apparently been released online after the ransomware attack last month. I'm Lauren Halifax and I'm John Holt. The attack impacted the county's assessment, recorder of deeds and collections offices. It closed them for a couple of weeks. Working for you, Fox Sports Jonathan Ketz, live at the Jackson County Courthouse downtown after trying Jonathan to get answers from the county executive's office today. And, and John, it turns out we were actually successful talking to County Administrator Troy Schulte and Frank White's office after the county legislative meeting that started at three today. They are the group that claimed responsibility for the attack on us. Um, what we're working with is law enforcement. We've, we've heard the same thing. That's Schulte's response to the ransomware group Black Suit, allegedly releasing some of the information they took during April's attack. There was no tax, a confidential data that would have been released. We're not sure what exactly they've released, but we're working with law enforcement to kind of track it down. Over the weekend, Brett Callow with the security company MCSoft put on X that Black Suit's claiming they stole county employee passports, family details, and medical examinations. Um, I haven't heard if that's been restored yet. Schulte reiterated, though, he does not believe any taxpayer's personal information would have been released. The good news is, according to Callo, there's no evidence the data that's stolen is routinely misused to commit identity fraud or other forms of cyber crimes. The ransomware gang that stole the information are really interested in collecting the big hundreds of thousands of dollars or multi-millions of dollars ransoms from their targets. They're not interested in the much smaller sums they could make from identity fraud. County legislators told us earlier in the day they have not been asked to pay a ransom to try and make sure that this information goes away. Schulte believes what the hackers got was taxing value information, potentially information over the past 30 years on values in the county and not information that would have been private. Lauren, 